Welcome to the kick training video on how to run a basic wireless SRA smart reflow analyzer profile. In this training video, you will learn how to connect and run a basic profile with your SRA in the wireless transmitter mode. We will start by showing how to connect your SRA. We will then check basic configurations, learn how to pair your SRA with the smart dock, use the hardware status tab to confirm communication and troubleshoot, and finish with how to run a profile. Please remove your SRA from its case. To set up the transmitter mode, first connect the supplied USB cable from the PC to the SRA module as shown. The device will automatically power on when connected to the PC. From the main screen of the Profiling Software 2G application, shown here, start by clicking on the Global Preferences button. Briefly check that all configurations are correct, starting with your units of measure. Also check the product start temperature and change it if needed. The last step should be confirming that your SRA is connected and in the correct profiling mode. Click on the green check mark to save your changes. When using transmitter mode, the SRA module will wirelessly send data via a Wi Fi connection to the Smart Dock device. This is a dedicated, private Wi Fi connection between the two devices and independent of any company network that may be in use. You will now need to pair or link the SRA module to the smart dock. Start by unplugging the USB interface cable from the SRA module and plug it into the smart dock as shown here. After connecting the smart dock, it will power on and cycle through all the LEDs. Once that completes, it is ready for pairing. To pair the devices, Start by covering one of the two small round speed sensor lenses on the top of the SRA module and the blue ANT LED will begin flashing. While keeping the lens covered, tap the body of the smart dock and the ANT LED will begin flashing. The devices are paired successfully when the blue LEDs turn off and the amber Wi-Fi LEDs begin flashing on both devices. Once paired, you can go into the hardware status to check the communication. When the hardware status window opens, confirm that in the device section, you are seeing device found and ready to profile. Below, you should see a COM device number with six live temperature readings. If you click on the SRA logo, it will pop up a small screen with the SRA LED status, where you should see the percentage of battery charge and verify that there aren't any alerts. Additionally, you will see the status for the Wi-Fi connection between the SRA module and the smart dock. Your SRA is now ready to use in Wi-Fi mode. Click on the green check mark to return to the main menu. From the main screen, click on the run a profile icon as shown here. Data will be stored by product name. So we recommend entering the name of the oven recipe that is loaded when collecting the data. This name can be selected from the drop down menu the next time you run using the same recipe. Next, in the application drop down menu, select Smart Reflow Analyzer. In the oven name area, type in the name of the oven you're profiling. This name can be selected from the drop down menu the next time you run a profile. Click on the next arrow key to continue. In this screen, you will be inputting the length of each zone. Begin by putting in the correct number of heated zones for your oven. If your oven zones are not all the same length, uncheck the box labeled All Zone Links Are The Same and input the correct links. If all your zones are equal, you can leave the box checked and click the right arrow to proceed. In addition to heated zones, the user also has the option to define cooling zones. Usually this feature is used with ovens that have controlled cooling zones, but the user can choose to define and view cooling zone data even if the oven is not equipped with controlled cooling zone. In this screen, you will enter your oven zone temperatures and conveyor speed set points. 
Please make sure that the recipe currently loaded on your oven software matches the set points in your profiling software 2G. The next window you will see is the Select Process window screen. Initially, you should use the default None process window, as shown here. Click on the next arrow to continue. In this window, we will review the live temperature readings, speed sensor self check that should be green and the battery voltage to make sure that everything is reading correctly. If no errors are indicated, click on the traffic light button to start the SRA profile. An additional window will then display asking you to confirm that the oven temperatures are stabilized. If so, click yes to continue. Follow the example to correctly introduce your SRA into the oven. Once you have placed it, click on the next arrow. When using the Wi-Fi configuration, we can see real time that the profile is complete and the SRA is exiting the oven. Once the SRA reaches the exit of the oven, using the supplied gloves, remove it from the oven and open the thermal shield cover to allow it to cool. Unlike the data log configuration, we do not have to reconnect the USB cable. The data is automatically downloaded via Wi-Fi through the smart dock. You can observe the status of the download in the lower left corner of the screen. Once the data has been successfully downloaded, a new window will appear asking you to put the SRA to sleep. Click Yes. A message appears indicating the SRA's internal temperature during that run, and then the completed SRA profile will be displayed. It is recommended at this point to place the SRA next to or over a fan to expedite the cooling of the device. If no fan is available, placing the fixture directly on a concrete floor will also help speed up cooling the device. This concludes our video on how to run a transmitter SRA profile. You now know how to connect your SRA, configure the software to enable communication with the SRA fixture, pair your SRA with the smart dock, check for communication and basic troubleshooting from the hardware status, and the correct way to set up and run a profile in transmitter mode. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information on our products or have any questions, please go to our website, kickthermal.com. Thank you, and we appreciate your business.